Do you accept this cocktail? Hi, I'm Michael Pez, and this is Reality Sips, where I sip on a cocktail with a Canadian reality TV star and talk all things Bachelor in Paradise Canada. Here at Nickel Nine Distillery, proud sponsor of Bachelor in Paradise Canada season two. Uh, before we get started, like and subscribe down below for all things Bachelor in Paradise Canada and Nickel Nine Distillery. I'm super excited. Today is our Pride episode, and we have Frankie Chenna. I got my Pride gear on. Oh my god, you look so good. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Absolutely, and I got my Boys R Us shirt on, made by Peachy Kings. Uh, little, pro, little, you know, little plug there. All the plugs. All the plugs. Um, Not those plugs. So anyway, um, hey, so it's Pride Month. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Yeah, are you excited? Like, are you? Uh, you got big pride plans this weekend. Well, I did up? pride trivia yesterday, hosted by Michael Pez. If you ever want to come and see me bartend, it's at Duke's Refresher downtown. Before we get started, let's have a sip. Okay, woo! So, Frankie, you and I have known each other for about a year? Two years? Two years? Two years? Coming, coming on two years? Amazing. Uh, I met Frankie uh, while bartending. And uh, Frankie is, um, you know what? I, I don't know how to describe this. Frankie is a megastar oh. of game shows. Oh, yeah, I yeah, like that. I, I'm gonna play a little true, true or false right now. True or false, you won a car on Price Right. It's true. Uh, true or false, you won 40 grand on Sing On on uh, Netflix. It's true. True or false, you were on Match Game. It's false. True or false, you were on Family Feud. Uh, Family Feud Canada as a coach. As a coach, what do you mean a coach? I didn't play, I was, I, I coached my family. Oh. I wasn't you, allowed to play because of Sing On. Oh, how'd your family do? They lost. Oh. <laughs> so I'm apparently a bad coach. Does your family play a lot of games? Like, are you guys big game family? No. I'm the gamer, they're the screamers. What do you mean screamer? Like, they like to scream. They, like, they get really excited? No, they like to scream. They like to yell. Oh, they just oh, fight? <laughs> I'm not saying scream. I'm not saying fight, I'm okay, saying scream. yell. Okay, gotcha. It's not really a fight, we just like to yell at everything. You're just loud. Everything. Okay, gotcha. Good. But no, they did really well. I was very proud of them. Great. Yeah. I wish I could go. So I actually auditioned for Family Feud Canada. Um, I was asked to audition. I was super excited. I got all my family together. Uh -huh. uh, my family was really boring. Oh, it's hard. And like, if my family's it's watching hard. right now, I love you guys. You guys are amazing, fabulous. Yeah, but like, what? <laughs> what? Don't cut this part out. The family is really lovely and stuff like that. But like, when the casting producer said to my brother, they were like, so what do you do for fun? And my brother's like, I like to make soup. So you love vodka? Yes. And it's also Pride Month, so what gay doesn't love vodka? All Correct. of them love Correct. it. <laughs> All right, so we have two different vodkas here at Nickel Nine Distillery. The first vodka is our proud little baby. It's Northern Temple Vodka made from apples. Okay. Yeah, uh, vodka can be made from anything, including like milk, it can be made from wheat, it can be made from any fruits, anything that ferments. Uh, this is our Crazy Monkey Vodka made from winter wheat. And it is uh, your traditional vodka. I want okay. you to like, taste the difference Ooh, between I'm ready. vodka. Okay. Do I have to close my eyes? Like, okay. Do I have to guess which right. is which? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. I'm really bad. Okay, I failed a wine tasting class at UBC and University. Like, truly failed. I have it's no palate at all. Okay, so like, literally, you're, I think you're gonna be able to figure it out. Okay, okay. okay. All right, so you're gonna take a sip of each one, and okay. you're gonna tell me which one is the Northern Temple Vodka made from apples. Okay. Okay. okay they smell quite different, so that's, but not in a way that I'm like figuring out what it is, just in a way that I know that it's different. Totally. Okay, this one is definitely like not similar. This was like, I like this one. This is like not similar to normal vodka. This is the Northern. Which one's the Northern? This one. That's the Northern. Oh yeah, it's so good. Yeah. I do, I love it, I love it. All right, so um, Frankie's uh, drink of choice. Uh, every time he came into the bar, he's like, um, can I get a vodka Diet Coke? And I'm like, yeah, of course. So we're just gonna make a vodka Diet Coke. I'm the easiest guest on this series because my drink is so uncomplicated. And just to be clear, it is preferably a vodka Coke Zero, but most bars don't have Coke Zero, so I brought my own. So we are gonna use, let's use just our traditional Crazy Monkey Vodka. No, I want the apple. Okay, great. Sorry. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> you can do the Diet Coke. 
So Coke Zero. So step one was yeah. the ice. Yeah. Step two was the vodka. And step three is the Coke, okay? I know it's a little complicated. You really gotta watch those bubbles. You don't want them to overflow. For the natural. Um, and you too can make this cocktail for pride this year. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. And look at that. I don't know. Well, I, I, I made it even. You did such a good job. If this was scored out of 10, I got a 10. How one would not get a 10. I don't know, I gotta taste it. But that. I got a 10. Oh yeah, now we, as if, as if we, anyways. Uh, it's, it's tasty. The apple does just change the game though. Absolutely. Gen like genuinely. It's so much more summer refreshing than like a normal bar vodka diet. 100%. You want to actually taste something with your vodka. Mm -hmm. Like you want to taste something in the vodka. All right. So let's talk about Bachelor in Paradise Canada. Yes. It's a messy, it's a messy season. It's a messy season. It's a messy season. What can we say about these straight people? Nope. Do you think that they're there to just get publicity and modeling careers? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think this one's there for the right reason. Tessa. She is the most, oh, I watch, we watch so much fucking reality TV yeah. that when you come across someone that just has this like authenticism to them, it's very rewarding and refreshing. So I think she's there for the right reasons. I think she is so lovely to watch. Oh my God, yes. My number one rule about reality TV is like, number one rule, game shows, reality TV, whatever. It's like, if you're gonna go on, you have to accept criticism. Like you are consenting automatically to accept the criticism you're going to receive. So anyone who goes on and doesn't appreciate like podcasts or shows like yours, yes. it's just not, then get off of reality TV, go do it in your backyard and I won't talk about you. How do you deal Oh, as a host, like yeah. you do host, uh, you host Thirst. Yeah. Thirst is your podcast yeah. and you have been on a certain reality show called The Bridge. Mm -hmm, How mm -hmm. do you deal with that kind of criticism? You know, uh, it's a good question. Even just, you know, posting Pride content with Narcity this week, it's like, Oh my God, the homophobes, they are alive. They are alive and well. And I, I don't realize that because we live in this beautiful gay bubble with yeah. our friends and yeah. our gay bars, but it is bad. Like even Toronto, Canada, unfortunately, there's a lot of hate, but regardless, um, when I was competing at Mr. World as Mr. Canada, I was getting a lot of hate kind of messages about me, to me. And I remember, I'll never forget the day where I called my friends and I, I had like a little chat and I told myself in that moment, if I want this career, and I can't handle this, then I need to quit this career right now. And from that day on, I'm like, call me whatever you want, bitches. Like, I'm ready. So I think I have a thick skin now. Yeah. yeah. Can I call you something? Yeah. Inspiring. Oh. Yeah. Honestly. What a twist. I'm going to be like, cut, <laughs> cut, <laughs> troll. The thing about you, Frankie, is that you are, um, you're uh, consistent. Uh, you always like, you're always on the ball. Thank you. You're great on camera. Thank you. Um, you're a terrible person. <laughs> no, but honestly, you're just, you're a great person to be around and he's also really good at playing games. We are gonna play a game right now. We're gonna get rid of this mat. I don't think and we talked about the four of them, but that's fine. We don't need to. They're just a mess right now. They're a mess. We can, like, we can, we'll get into it with this lovely game of not Jenga, but um, Tumbling Tower oh. from um, Dollarama. Okay. okay, so. Brought to you by Dollarama. <laughs> Dollarama. So this is our um, little Jenga game. And it is a tower and on, on each block is a dare or a question that pertains to Bachelor in Paradise Canada. Okay. So Frankie, by all means go first. Okay. I do love me some tumbling tower. Wait, what happens when someone knocks it down? That's a good question. Okay, if someone knocks this down, they have I'm sorry, even though it's daytime, you have to do a shot. Okay. Yeah, you have to. I won't be losing anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is such a good question. Okay, so what oh! do you think of? Tessa versus Maria. This is a great question. On the most recent episode, Tessa and Maria got into a huge fight. It, again, I felt it was very... The emotions were very genuine. Like it was not yeah. being put on. At the start of it, I'm totally team Tessa. I'm like, absolutely, don't touch my man, have some respect, la 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 la. But she comes to Maria and Maria, I thought, apologized quite quickly. She was not like, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, it wasn't fake. It's I don't not like, it fake yeah, at all. it was like yeah. just straight to the point, like apology, but like bold apology, direct apology. And then I felt Tessa was kind of, like milking it a little bit. I think Tessa was just really upset. I think she that was. She, I think that 
she took she spoke to a couple different people those people were like like megan megan like kind of fueled it a little yep. bit she's like God, you should say something yeah you should say something you should say and then that worked her up even more True. tessa hasn't known joey very long yep. um maria has so maria was quick to be like i touch all my friends that's how i touch people and tessa was just like nobody gets in between me and my man yeah and uh Tessa, it's a draw. Tessa know, versus Maria is a draw. Yeah. So I'm gonna go now. Okay. Who do you forget is there on Bachelor <gasps> in Paradise? That's easy. That's easy. There's only one answer. Megan. <gasps> Love when you're on the screen and you have a lot to say and like honestly, you're great when you're talking to Garrett and all that. But I need more, babe. But who's more forgettable? There was one more more forgettable. You forgot about them. That's how forgettable they are. Josh? Oh. Matia. Just because he's hot does not mean he's unforgettable. I want you to be clear on that. Oh I God. think you're only just one hand. Is that a, you didn't tell me the rules at the beginning. Well, you should just know how to play Jenga. All rules must be clearly oh. explained. Oh, that is the, the rule. One. That's the one. Oh my God, these are so good. All right. Describe Lisa. Describe Lisa. Lisa had an amazing first half of the season for sure. Like she was her season. Like she was like, everyone wants me. I want everyone. I'm going to be bold. I think right now she's in a really unfortunate situation where Cole has closed the door on her. Yes. And Connor has opened the door, but she doesn't want an open door. She wants like a half closed. I'm going to say, Lisa, I'm your friend. You're my friend. We're good. I love you. Yeah. Good job. But I'm going to say, Lisa, that it's appearing that you are one of those people that likes barriers when it comes to relationships and love rather than liking what is presented right in front of you. Connor is giving himself to you but you want the one that is so difficult to get. And that is psychologically a thing, like barriers yeah. and attraction. It's a big, big thing in love and life. And I think Lisa maybe wants to be single. Maybe. She's fucking hot. Be single. Yeah. Get what you want every day. Like, my turn. Okay. Talk about Joey. All right, Joey, narrator of the season. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, he literally is like, it's almost like check-ins with Joey. Yeah. All right, so we got Chelsea and Austin over here, and we got this bit over here, and then Paradiso we got over here, and he's behind the bar. It's like the Joey show, yeah. and I'm so excited because Joey is going to be on Reality Sips in a couple weeks from now, so stay tuned for that. All right, you're up. Yeah, nothing to add about Joey, I agree. Narrator of the season, so freaking cool. Oh, these are... You're really giving me all the ones that I wanted to talk about today, which is yeah. so funny. Sam versus Lisa. Oh my God. Juicy. I, okay, I am not afraid of making choices when it comes to these types of questions, but I have to say like these fights and these rivalries are very nuanced. Like Sam versus Lisa, I think that Sam is being her truest self. Again, I think she's being authentic. Yeah. I think that she is being honest. Do I also think she's being a little catty at times? Of course, she's fingering Lisa. She's like, she's a little crass, but I think that is her. And and Lisa is coming for her man. Like Lisa is trying to like get in the way of what they have. And she did have it first. So again, it's going to be a draw for me. I'm going to say that like, I think, I think Lisa's stoking the flames. I think Sam's stoking the flames. They're giving us amazing television. All right. What is paradise to me? Um, I love the ones you're picking because I'm like, I don't want to talk about those. Cottage, dock, a margarita in my hands, acoustic guitar, something. I don't play. That means I have to be with somebody. That's paradise to me. Who needs to come on reality sips? Oh, that's a great question. Oh my God, Priyanka. That would be, a, that would be oh amazing. God. How many times has your heart been broken? One was um, full at lie. That was the first ever boyfriend I had. And the second was um, my boyfriend at the time moved away, broke my heart, but like he went on for bigger and badder things in another country. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. That's okay. Hey, you know what? We all grow. Who would you drink with? I'm going to have a drink with Edward and I'm going to make him come out of his shell. That's what I'm going to say. With Ed, Ed is giving ally at the very least. Pride month. <laughs> How are you romantic? Oh, yeah. Your questions are so 
I'm not romantic. <laughs> what? I remember dates. I um well I listen to what you have to say and Wait, I'll this, make you a really great cocktail. This episode is basically just your dating pride. profile. This is the pride. pride. What does paradise mean to you? <laughs> How you, many times has your heart been broken? You're engaged. Yes. Oh yeah, this He's is engaged a good question. He's engaged to this lovely guy named Dan. Yes. Shout out to Dan. Shout and out to Dan. Uh, did you guys get engaged? True or false? Did you guys get engaged in Times Square? True. Was it on a big billboard for Netflix? True. Okay, cool. Your turn. My turn. Woo! Who is bringing the drama? It's gonna be Lisa. Like she is the oh. she is the core, I think, of it. You think she's bringing the drama? Or is she just like attracting the drama? Okay, that's a fair distinction. I think that the drama is surrounding her a lot. Why is she such a nice person? Like, she honestly, is, I She is? No, she is, she is. I'm not saying she's a dramatic person, I'm just saying the drama seems to surround her. Oh, you and your risky moves. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's not gonna be about your love life, yeah. is it? Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have been in love three times. Oh, oh thank well, the Lord. There we go. Here thank we the go. Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord, okay. Oh, hottest female when it comes to women. Type. Oh, you're gonna see because she's on the show. Type is definitely Selena Maria, but I'm gonna go with Maria. You said one hand, girl. Do a shot. I wish Paige was here right now. I know. It was the one sip of you vodka. Got it. Oh, favorite favorite romantic movie. It's the one with uh, Rebel Wilson where she's stuck in. Yes, thank you. Isn't it romantic? She's stuck in a rom-com. Yes! Woo! I win like I always do. <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> it was so fitting, is do a shot. To you, Frankie. To everybody, Toronto world, happy Pride. Happy Pride. Let's talk about this little guy. So this is a custom Funko Pop made by Todd, the winner of Survivor, and it's my experience on the bridge. So if you don't know what the bridge is, and you probably don't because you live in Canada, uh, the bridge is a BBC show in which Frankie had to go to, had to go, went to Vietnam and in a group of eight, had to build a bridge from the mainland in Vietnam to this island against another team of eight that they didn't even know about at first and then had to build it with bamboo in the water january it was was it fucking cold uh, it was cold they had to shit in a bucket yeah like it literally like i'm not kidding you it was one of the coolest shows ever so um what reality show are you doing next oh there's there's some things on the horizon right now happy pride happy pride you, thank you for having I'm me thank you for your kind out. words so frankie um because you were so happy with the tasting of northern top of vodka i was from apples mixed with a coke zero <laughs> This bottle is for you. Oh, that's so sweet. From oh my us. God, thank, thank you, you so much. Today. Where can we find you on every show? <laughs> on every show, I'm just pulling up Ed. Um, <laughs> at Frank, at Manifesting. At Frankie Chetta, uh, all, the, all the social medias. It's just my, my name at everywhere. Please watch the podcast at Thirst. And you know what? You can find me at Michael Pez on Twitter, Michael Pez one You can find me on TikTok, social media. And I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that tunes into Reality 6. It's been a blast. And watch more Bachelor in Paradise Canada. Season's almost done. we got a couple more episodes. Uh, tune in, like and subscribe down below. Thank you for everybody. Keep on sipping. Bye. Happy Friday.